Hi everyone, my name is Daiki Gomez and I'm a junior application engineer here at ICP DOS USA. Today I'll be demonstrating how to configure a TGW module to communicate from a Modbus TCP master to Modbus RTU slaves connected via RS485. If you have a Modbus RTU master and a Modbus TCP slave, we have another video for you to follow to set this up. When you receive our tiny gateway the following items are included the module itself one ca002 cable to power and the quick start guide the tgw modules are configured using a web browser like google chrome in order to connect to the module you must first put the computer and the module on the same network we will show you how to use our free e-search utility to add the tgw to your pc's network this is an alternate method in the manual where you, can, where you can change your PC's IP address to the default of the TGW if this does not work. The TGW module can be powered by the DC jack CA002 plus a power supply as shown in this image. Use the command prompt on your PC to identify your computer's network setting. Type CMD in the search bar and it'll open a window like this. Type ipconfig and press enter. This will display your PC's current IP settings, similar to below. You will want to give your module a unique IP address on the same network and with the same subnet mask and default gateway as your PC. To do this, download and install our eSearch utility. Open the utility, scan for the module by clicking Search Servers, click on the Found Module, and click Configuration UDP. Enter a unique IP address for the gateway, different from the computer's IP, along with the same subnet mask and default gateway setting. Click Search Servers again, and when the module is found with the new settings, highlight it and click Web. This will bring up a window looking like this the first time. The current password is Admin. Create and confirm a new password and click Submit. Enter the new password to log into the module. Now we are ready to connect your Modbus RTU device. Be sure to configure them prior and you must know the following to properly configure the TGW's COM port to match the Modbus RTU slaves. Baud rate, data size, parity, and stop bit. Click on the corresponding COM port that you have wired to the Modbus RTU slave and enter this information and click submit at the bottom. Most times, these are all the settings you will need, but a detailed description of the other possible settings can be found in the manual for more advanced setups. Currently, we have an M7067D connected to COM1 with an address of 1. We will use our Modbus master tool to verify communication. We are connected via Ethernet to the PC. The Modbus address table for this module is shown here. To confirm that our module is configured properly and communicates, we open Modbus Master Tool. Click Setup, then Definition. We will read the values of our digital output channels for this example. This module has eight digital output channels, so we will configure as shown and click OK. Next, click Connection Connect. Set interface for TCIP, enter the IP address of the TGW along with port 502 for COM port 1 of the TGW and press OK. The values shown are of the current output status. The error count is zero, so our communication is perfect. We can change the value of some outputs by clicking on the value and changing them to one. If the response data is correct, it means the test is successful. For troubleshooting, the web interface has a monitor tab. You can use this to check for current connections and communication errors. After clicking the monitor tab, the current connection status page will be displayed, showing detailed information regarding the current status of the serial port connection settings for the TGW. Please do not hesitate to reach out to tech at icpdosusa.com if you have any questions regarding your TGW module. Thank you.